how to make flat pack corner ruins. Welcome to Good Enough Scenery. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this exact flat pack corner ruin that in seconds goes from a flat pack state to the state you're about to see it in. And best of all, this total build time was 25 minutes. Let's get into how to make it. How to make flat pack scenery in minutes. Now, today I'm going to be filming this with no cuts. I'm just going to film straight through. I'm going to turn this into a bit of flat pack scenery in, I'm going to aim for 10 minutes. So um, I'm going to crack straight on. I've drawn out some lines already. So we're going to cut this out here like this. Okay, and then you'll notice that this has got L drawn in it. This is going to be an integral part of the flat packing thing. So I'm going to have to be careful with this. Okay, that's a bit slightly, so we are going to do a new one for that. Um, and that we are just going to repair. That's what happens when you're rushing. A bit of super glue in there, that will be absolutely fine. Uh, now we're going to grab this and we are going to cover this in PVA. That will do. And then we are going to just sprinkle some flock all over all across this. So that right. Uh, this is the next bit we're going to cut out. This is going to write a speed or synthetic. We went a bit too fast on the last one, but I'm going to. I just want to see how quickly I can do this. So, this is going to be the next level of the ruin. We're going to have it not just having a simple thing, we're going to have it be a bit more complicated. Right, and you can see here I've got marks here. Uh, which one we're about to cut out. So these are going to be like tabs that join in. There we go, perfect. Right, we have these which are going to fit into there. So we're just going to cut a whole bunch of strips and to see how they all fit in together. And what's going to happen? We have this one here, and we have this one here. Let's make sure I'm getting the right way around. Um, and we're going to build a wall up. So, the way this works, we're going to flat pack it, is that we're going to have this overlapping. Like so. So I'm going to put in a cut about there. I'm going to lay some super glue all along the top of this one here. Could use a glue gun. I have a glue gun over there for something in a minute. Like that and have it overlapping like that. And then we can cut another one more to the length. The one beneath it. You'll see where I'm going with this in a minute. one wall done. Uh, so this one, I want to make sure that the length we're putting on is slightly less than that. Also make sure it's the right way around. That's important. So slightly less gets lined up. So the length doesn't matter too much. In fact, I'll just kind of prove a point here. I'm going to make it deliberately a bit shorter than it needs to be. Um, so these are going to marry together like this. So this has to go just shy of that. So glue on the bottom of here uh, and then up to that point there. Okay, 
Excellent. Right, so those are the two walls, the bottom parts are done. Now we need our piece. So this is going to go on here like that. So we need to make sure that these pieces get glued in the right place. So we have this one. I'm going to press this right up against here. And finally, for this bit, just here, like that. And then that can stay in place. That bit can come out again. Ideal. Right, now I want to build a bit more strength to this, so. These are acting as just, um, I don't know what you call it, but it just kind of makes, it's going to make the fit a bit tighter. Um, no, that's blocked horrifically, but you know, to be expected. Um, go over afterwards and make that a much more uh, suitable place. So at the moment, we're just going to give that a tail. We're going to put a few more. So that's the glue I'm finished with. I'm gonna give that a second to dry. Uh, what we can probably do, yeah, what we can do is we can probably slot these together now. So they this are just gonna to come together like that, and that it's that dot of glue just makes that fit a bit nicer. And then these should slot perfectly into here. Like that, and then this should slot perfectly into there. So I don't know how long it's been. I'm gonna come around and check on the camera. What we at? Seventeen minutes. So way over what I was hoping for. But in you know, depending on what you want, in seventeen minutes. I've got to that point there. Um, now it's very easy to see how this could be quickened up, um, it can be neatened up, but for a bit of scenery in around 15 minutes of me messing around and talking, um, that ain't bad. So as I said, this is built, this is finished. Um, you can, these are our four pieces that make up our black pack corner ruin. And as I said, we can make it uh, look a lot better with not a lot of effort. Um, so we are going to start with this, which we just chuck some flock on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some glue on a bit more carefully, getting a good amount of coverage. Okay, that's done. And then nothing clever here, just chucking this on. Okay, that's probably the hard bit done. Uh, this is super, super easy. So these are our walls and we get a blade and what we're going to do is just going to score in where brickwork would be. 
deciding on a rough size of a brick and just going fairly deep but not too deep enough that you're kind of going a couple of mil deep probably just going to pull this up to the camera so just going to show you hopefully you can see that so we're just going to do that across all of the bricks Okay, that's done. Uh, and then for this, we're going to create some tiles. Completeness. And you can do whatever you like with this in terms of it having fallen apart if you want to, but I'm not going to do that now. Right, so those are done. So now we're going to take this um, black wash. We are going to put a little bit of water in here. Um, let's put some drops of that in there. We're going to take a makeup brush. Um, and then we are just going to smother that in this black wash. And the wash is going to darken the tiles and it's going to be even darker hopefully in the um, recesses that we've cut. Um, important here to also paint the end of these tabs because they are going to get seen. Um, so that's that. And then here and there you have it. Um, basically that is done. So we can take I'm going to do this even though it's wet. Pop that into there. This into here. Also gives us an opportunity to see if everything's looking okay, whether we've missed anything. Which I don't think I have, but you know, happy to be wrong if I'm wrong. Oh yes, the one thing I knew I was going to forget. So, just a little bit more sort of glue. Now here, should be blocked. This is on the bottom of the bit of the wall, so just gonna do that. And you know what, we might as well. Finish, done. Um, I'll be back to show you that once it has dried. So there you have it, 25 minutes to create completely flat packable scenery. This flat pack corner ruin was so simple to make, so quick to make. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and it's good enough for any game board. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe, click the like button and leave any comments that you might have. Back again soon.